in the mighty name of Jesus. We come before you because we depend on you. Because we rely on you. Lord, we have no plan A, B, or C. Lord, we depend solely on you. We have got no other plan. We have got no fallback plan. We because it is you alone we depend upon. Our hope and trust is entirely on you. Many other things can fail us. They have failed us before. That you alone our Father. You can never fail us. You can never leave us. You can never forsake us. That is why on this 11th day of January, on the year of the Lord 2023, we come unto you, our Father, that you may touch us afresh. That you may visit us, O God. That you may intervene in our situations. Therefore, Lord, we surrender unto you as we share your word. We ask you to have preeminence. May this word bring transformation in the lives of your people. Holy Spirit, you are our teacher. We pray that you teach us this evening. Holy Spirit, you are our helper. We depend on your help. We pray that in this service, may you help us in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for all that have come. May you bless their lives. Thank you for all that are coming. May you bless them too. Thank you for those who are watching. Father, I remember them. Thank you, our Father. We honor you and exalt your name. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are clapping for Jesus, you can do it better. In Jesus' name. Look chapter 7. We begin from verse 12. We read up to verse 16. We shall briefly share the Holy Communion and go home. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said unto her, Weep not. And was fourteen, and he came and touched the bear, and they that bear him stood still, and he said, Young man, I say unto you, unto thee, arise. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. And there came fear, a fear on all. And they glorified God, saying, that a great prophet is risen among us and that God has visited his people. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say again hallelujah. hallelujah. They say it that a great prophet is risen up among us and that God has visited his people. This evening we share briefly results of divine visitation. 
leo ya kutembelewa kiungo 2023 mwaka wa 2023 maia of divine visitation ni mwaka wa kutembelewa kiungo what happens when god visits a people ni nini kinatendeka mungu akiwatembelea watu what are we expecting to happen to us ni nini tunatarajia itutendekee as the lord visits us mungu anapotembelea as he visits our families anapotembelea jamii zetu as he visits the church anapotembelea kanisa as he visits our businesses anapotembelea biashara zetu what are the expectations matarajio ni nini results of divine visitation matokeo ya kutembelewa kiungo this list is not exhaustive Dogeto mtakao zote si za kumaliza but we are looking at a few lakini tutatazama tu chache i know the list is endless ninajua hii ina kala haina mwisho but for the purpose of this service lakini kwa kusudi la ibada hii god if time allows you look at seven tutaangalia saba kama mtu ataturuhusu if time doesn't allow we can look at five or even one and go home kama muda hautaruhusu tutaangalia ile ambayo tutawezeshwa when god visits his people wakati wana matembelea watu wa kwa divine visitation tunapoongea kuhusu mwaka wa kutembelewa kiungu we are talking about god helping his people sisi tunaoya kuhusu mungu kuwasaidia watu wa kwa divine visitation tunapoongea kuhusu kutembelewa kiungu we are talking about god helping his people tunanena kuhusu mungu akiwasaidia watu wa kwa we are talking about the hand of god at work tunanena kuhusu mkono wa mungu ukitenda kazi the hand of god at work mkono wa mungu ukitenda kazi so what are some of the results baadhi ya matokeo of divine visitation ya kutembelea belewa wa kiungo and i pray in jesus name na ninaomba kwa jina la yesu patake of this holy communion napomeka meza hii ya bwana let this disaster be our portion acha haya matokeo yawe sehemu yetu that all of us will be partakers ili kwamba sisi zote tutakuwa washiriki of the results of divine visitation matokeo ya kutembelewa kiungo number 1 ya kwanza from the verses that we are praying kutokana na From the verses, kutokana na somo ambalo tumelisoma from the bible verses that you have read kutoka hizo maandiko ambayo tumesoma the bible says in when you read us chapter 7 of luke ukisoma luka sura ya saba in fact you begin from up from chapter from verse 1 ukianzia aya ya kwanza you will find there utapata pale a centurion yule centurion akida akida whose servant was very sick ambao mtumishi wake alikuwa mgonjwa the servant was very sick huyo mtumishi alikuwa ni mgonjwa and the people loved this man na watu walimpenda huyo mtu because that man loved the nation kwa sababu hiyo mtu alipenda taifa and number two, he had constructed for them a synagogue ya pili alikuwa anajengea sinagogi so Jesus was visiting that area yes alikuwa anatembelea hilo eneo and the servant to the centurion was sick na huyo mtumishi wa akida alikuwa mgonjwa. And the centurion besought Jesus for the healing of the servant. Na huyo akida akamsii Yesu kwa sababu ya uponyaji wa mtumishi wake. When you read verse 10, ukisoma aya ya 10, the Bible says, maandiko inasema, and they that were sent returned to the house found the servant whole that had been sick. Na wale waliotumwa waliporudi nyumbani wakamkuta yule mtumwa ni mzima. You know where we are back in verse 16. Mahali ambapo tumesoma aya 16. The Bible says, Maandiko inasema, there came a great fear upon all. Kukawa na hofu kuu juu ya wote. And the Lord by God say, Na wakamtukuza Mungu akisema, that a great prophet has risen uh, among us. Ya kwamba nabii mkuu ameinuka miongoni mwetu. Why were they saying like that? Bwana walikuwa wanasema vile, there are some great things they had seen being done. Kuna vitu vikubwa ambavyo walikuwa wameona vikitendeka. Among them, miongoni mwao, the healing of the centurion servant. Upande wa mtumishi wa akida number 1 ya kwanza results of divine visitation matokeo ya utembelewa wa kiungo divine visitation brings about divine healing utembelewa wa kiungo unaleta uponyaji wa kiungo divine visitation utembelewa wa kiungo brings about divine healing unaleta uponyaji wa kiungo because of the divine visitation of Jesus kwa sababu ya utembelewa kiungo wa Yesu when he was going to the house of this uh, centurion alipokuwa akiingia nyumbani mwa huyo Yeah. and the centurion told him there is no need of you entering my house. Na huyo akida akamwambia hauna 
Hata wewe kuna nyumba haya mamana na authority. Mimi ni mtu chini ya mamlaka. I say to this one do this and he does this. Nikisema huyu afanye hivi anafanya. Go there and he goes there. Akienda pale anaenda. And this is saying verse 9. Na Yesu akasema aya 9. In verse 9. Katika aya 9. He says. Yesu anasema. And Jesus had these things. Yesu aliposikia mambo hayo. He mother at him. Akamchangaa and turned him about. Na yeye akageuka and said unto the people that followed him yeye akasajabu na akageuka mkutano uliokuwa kimfuata i say unto you akasema ninaombia i have not found so great faith sijamai ona imani kubwa hivi no not in israel hapana la hata si kwa hivi he was telling the people who are following him alikuwa anamwambia hao watu ambao walikuwa namfuata the whole of israel ya kwamba israeli nzima i have never seen a man of faith like this centurion sijamai tuwa imani kama huyu akieda this my disciples hata hao wanafunzi wangu i have not seen among them sijaona miongoni mwa the faith that this centurion sijaona kwenye imani kama huyu akieda by Jesus speaking those words yes kwa kinena haya maneno when those people went to see the servant na watu walienda kumona mtumishi they came back and said the servant is whole walirudi wakasema huyu mtumishi amepona the servant is healed mtumishi huyu amepona the divine situation kutembelea wa kiungo it's about divine healing unaleta uponyaji wa kiungo healing in the body uponyaji wa mwili if you are sick ikiwa wewe ni mgonjwa katika mwaka 2023 katika mwaka 2023 stop on sicknesses kama wewe unakuwa na magonjwa ambayo ni sicknesses it was to every now and then ile baka tunaenda hospitalini kesia of divine visitation kwa huo kutembelewa kiu that sickness must obey and live wewe ugonjwa na mtina uondoke that sickness must obey and disappear wewe ugonjwa na mtina uondoke you can no longer live on drugs in 2023 Mishina wewe ubeba kwa sababu utembelewa kwa kiume unaleta ponyaji iwe hiyo 2023 katika mwaka 2023 sickness must not be your portion na maradhi na magonjwa siwe sehemu yako neba in this year mambia jirani yake mwaka huu as the lord visits you bwana anapokutembelea sickness must not be your portion magonjwa ya siwe sehemu yako sickness must not be your portion maradhi ya siwe sehemu yako
kisesho utembelea wa kiungo please about divine hand unaleta uponyaji wa kiungo hata baisiki ni walai chochote ambacho ni kingonzo ndani ya maisha hata baisiki ni wafanye chochote ambacho kina maradhi katika jamii yako wewe baisiki yeyote ambaye ni mgonjo asilomo sitisihi kuisubisha ni bwana anatembea the sickness cannot stop wewe god hauwezi kusimama it will disappear in jesus name utakomea kwa jina la yesu leo tap your right hand inomkoma Father in the name of Jesus. Father in the name of Jesus. As I partake of this holy communion. As I partake of this holy communion. I pray for divine healing. I pray for divine healing in my physical body. In my physical body. In my emotions. In my emotions. In my family. In my family. Whatever is sick around me. Whatever is sick around me. I pray for divine healing. I pray for divine healing. Make that prayer in Jesus name. Amen. The book of the third letter of John. Waraka wa Yohana 3 verse 2. Aya yake ni ya pili. The third letter of John verse 2. Waraka wa Yohana wa 3 verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospered. Benzi na umba ufanikiwe katika mambo yote na kuwa na afya yako kama vile roho yako inafanikiwa. The Bible is telling us there must be a balance. Ni lazima kuwa na mizani hiyo sawa. Don't just prosper in your soul. Wewe usifanikiwe tu kwenye roho yako. And faith prosper in your head. Na ukose kufanikiwa kwenye afya. The writer says, mwandishi anasema, I wish above in fact, in fact he says, I wish above all things. Ninaomba zaidi ya vitu vyote. That thou mayest prosper. Ya kwamba wewe ufanikiwe and be in health. Na uwe katika afya. God wants us to be in good health. Mungu anataka tuwe katika afya njema. To glorify him. Ili tumtukuze Yesu. To serve him. Ili tumtumikie. As my soul prosper. Jinsi ambavyo nafsi yangu inafanikiwa. As I feed my soul. Ninapolisha roho yangu. Worship na katika ibada with the word of God na neno la Mungu with the prayers na maombi he says about all things also anasema juu ya kitu vyote pia prosper in health wewe fanikiwa katika afya i pray that in 2023 inaomba katika mwaka 2023 that you will prosper in health in Jesus name ya kwamba utafanikiwa katika afya kwa jina la Yesu number 2 ya pili when the lord visits wakati bwana anatembea divine visitation utembelea wa kiungu turns weeping into dancing aha manabadilisha machozi ama kilio katika kucheza ama sherehe he turns mourning into dancing anabadilisha maombolezo kuwa furaha where there is sadness he brings joy mahali ambapo kuna huzuni analeta furaha we have read from the book of luke tumesoma katika kitabu cha luka mtakatifu that this woman was a widow ya kwamba huyu mama alikuwa ni mjane the husband had passed on mume wake alikuwa ameanga he had been left with only one son yeye alikuwa mbaki na mwana mmoja pekee still nursing the sadness of losing the husband yeye alikuwa bado anaomboleza kifo cha mume wake as he still getting him she still getting healing anapoendelea kupona the son passes on mwana naye anaaga so jesus visits yesu anatembelea when they are about to bury him wakati wa karibu kumzika they are taking him out of the city wanamtoa nje ya mji to go and bury him kwenda kumzika right there at that point hapo hapo mahali pale jesus christ yes so Christo the son of god mwana wa mungu visits that area yeye anatembelea maeneo yale like the virtue of the visit of jesus christ sababu ya utembeleo wa yesu kristo the funeral procession is brought to a stop ile mtembeo wa kupeleka maziko unasimamishwa the arrangement is cancelled na kila maliko unakanushwa and the story is changed na hadithi inabadilika you can imagine the situation of that woman unaweza wazia hali ya yule mwanamke where is husband 
Yosaga anasema Yesu hili yako what God has done wale watakao kufikia kile ambacho Mungu amenitendea they so laugh together with me pia wataenda kusherekea pamoja nami in Genesis 21 katika mwanzo 21 is the news that she's going to have a son kipokea alipokea habari za kuwa na mwana she says akasema Yesu hili yako this new watakao kufikia habari hii they also laugh together with me pia wanao watacheka nami so the mothers must have joined this sister lazima wale wajue kwa kwenye msafara katika kusherehekea Zaburi 30 aya 11 The Bible says Maandiko inasema Thou hast stand for me my morning into dancing Thou hast put up my sackcloth and guarded me with gladness in the year 2023 Karika mwaka huo 2023 The sackcloths that you have been putting on in the past years Masambara ambao umemalia kwa muda mrefu The Lord is removing them in Jesus name Mungu anayeendea kwa jina la Yesu But the patch of divine visitation Ziga ile utembelee wa kiungo when you look at you wakati unakuangalia you are smartly dressed Wewe umevalia na dipo But from the realm of the spirit Lakini katika imani za roho there are sackcloths all over you Kuna mabanzi matambara Denoting sadness. Yale kumeja huzuni. Denoting mourning. Wewe unajakiliyo. The clothes of mourning are all over your life. Mabanzi ya kiliyo yamekuzikia. Kwa patch of divine visitation. Kwa kutembelewa kwa kiungo. Those sacrifices are being removed in Jesus name. This is your year to put down those sackcloths. This is your year to put down those sacrifices. And clothe yourself with gladness. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Say again, Father, in the name of Jesus. Put up every sackcloth. Put up every sackcloth. Upon my life. Upon my life. And clothe me. And clothe me with gladness. Begin to pray in Jesus' name. My Father, I put up every sacrifice upon my life, upon my family. Put up every sacrifice upon my life, upon my family. Put up every sacrifice upon my life, upon my family. Jesus. My Father, in the name of Jesus. In this year of divine visitation. In this year of divine visitation. I pray for restoration. I pray for restoration. Fourfold. Fourfold. Yani mara nne. The Bible says Zacchaeus has seven talents and many gifts. Maran, Maran, we want to pray that whatever the enemy has taken from us, let it be restored for full. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. As I partake of this holy communion, as I partake of this holy communion, I pray in Jesus' name. I pray in Jesus' name. Let there be full, full restoration. Let there be full, full restoration in my life, in my life, in my finances, in my finances, in my family. In my family. Begin to pray in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for full, full restoration. I Imagine for full restoration. Wazia urejesho mara nne. Zakia says, Zakaya anasema, if I've taken anything from anybody uh, illegally, ikiwa nimechukua kitu kutoka kwa mtu kwa 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 k
sister or your brother. Mombeo yeye mshika mkono. By mentioning his or her name. Kwa kutaja jina lake. Let God to restore four folds. Mwambie Mungu arejeshe mara nne. Let there be restoration of four folds. Watakuwa na urejeshi wa mara nne. Let the enemy be taken from. Jesus ambacho adui amemwita. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That the enemy has stolen from this church. We pray for God restoration of the finances that the enemy has stolen from this church. We pray for God restoration in the name of Jesus. The curse that the enemy has stolen from this church. The blessings, the favors, the enemy has stolen from this church. We pray for God restoration in the name of Jesus we remember your servant Bishop John never in grace in their children whatever the enemy has stolen from them we pray for full restoration in the name of Jesus I cover these your people the blood of Jesus as they partake of the Holy Communion and live I cover them by the blood of Jesus. Let them preserve them. Let them perform great wonders in their lives. I pray that you visit each one of them in a divine manner. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Say again, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Say again, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. As I partake of this holy communion. As I partake of this holy communion. Let every let every limitation in my life, in my life, in my family, in my family, be broken in Jesus' name, be broken in Jesus' name. Every limitation in my life, every limitation in my life, by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb, be broken in Jesus' name, be broken in Jesus' name. Pray in Jesus' name. 